Oh, while we're battling this guy. <clears throat> One of the worst well, things about nope. Christmas has to be the mall Santas. <laughs> Every year, these vapid tokens of an overly commercialized holiday pop up all over like Hey, yeah, yeah, baby, you did go a bit tougher since last time. That'd be shocked me a bit, so yeah, I got beat because I was careless. Oh, yeah, I joined Mr. Wake as an apprentice. Like, I want my own theme song. Okay, bye. <laughs> Intending to spread joy and cheer, but doing nothing but delivering lackadaisical performances and disappointment. How did he beat us here? Many a kid's holiday have been spoiled by these mundane avatars of Kris Kringle in what can only be described as a ritualistic assassination of childhood innocence. Truly, they are a blade upon our cultural landscape, and only when they are washed from our social consciousness can some form of dignity begin to return to Christmas. Everything stated in the above paragraph also applies to Deli Bird. <laughs> okay. Every day, Deli Bird is a hustlin', and this set is no exception. The combination of joy span and hustle allows Delibird's attack to approach barely usable levels, <laughs> and then the fun begins. Hustle makes Delibird miss its targets more than a fellow frosty bird there pale and misses the point. So Oof. the never miss aerial ace will be its best friend. Ice Shard bypasses Delibird's mediocre speed, but if you're feeling particularly foolhardy and confident that Delibird will survive the turn, why not let it fire off an ice punch? The stronger stab option on this set. Focus Punch and Brick Break are there to irritate the rock and steel types that are the bane of Deli Bird's existence, but it's just delaying the inevitable conclusion of Deli Bird being pulverized into a pile of red snow. Hmm. Much like the average New York gigolo, this Deli Bird will be <laughs> coming and going a lot, and unfortunately its typing means it gets a whopping 50% of its health chipped away by stealth rock every time it switches in, so rapid spin support is essential. War Turtle is probably the most adequate choice, as it doesn't double up on any of the weaknesses with Deli Bird. Spinda also learns Rapid Spin and can be partnered with Deli Bird in an effort to psych out your opponent. If the team looks this bad, then the strategy must be immaculate, right? Seed Bomb can be used to, in the last slot to bring discomfiture to water types that switch in hoping to wall Deli Bird's icy assaults. Keep in mind, however, that Deli Bird will bomb harder than any seeds ever could. Adamant could be used over Jolly for an additional boost in power, but the idea of running anything but Jolly on this wintertime courier seems blasphemous. Delibird's special attack is better than its attack before the hustle boost, so his choice spec set is conceivable. If your Delibird is not um, is not being an ice cold hustler with its hustle boost, there's really no point in having it on your team at all. In a cool <laughs> twist of fate, Delibird learns rapid spin, even at the dubious honor of being the worst rapid spin user in the game. <laughs> Delibird's signature move, present, can be used for some novelty value, but let's face it, using Delibird in and of itself is already a gift to your opponent. Fool people into thinking Delibird is a pre-evolution of Articuno and, and sneak in a little cup to see if it'll do well there. It won't. <laughs> it Rock types, won't. steel types, water types, and even fire types can all switch into Delibird without much fear and threaten to tear through its wafer-thin defenses with their respective stab attacks. Delibird is incredibly weak to Stealth Rock, so keeping it on the field is guaranteed to spell Delibird's <laughs> eyes. Alternatively, kick some pebbles into its face and bid it adieu. <laughs> That's that's it. That's the black and white entry for That's incredible. 